What was the inspiration for Pee Wee? Um, Pee Wee was really, uh, uh, an ex there was an extended improv being done one night at the Groundlings that was about um, a fictional comedy club. Pee Wee Herman was that guy with the best sense of humor in the room. For decades, Paul Rubens, who played the character, brought light into the lives of millions of people across the globe with his lively personality, belly laugh-worthy jokes, and empathy. But behind this happy-go-lucky, friendly actor was someone battling with a sad but deadly disease that eventually claimed his life. What could this disease be that caused his recent untimely death? Why didn't the world know about his condition? And for how long did he have to stand face-to-face -face with death, coping with the disease in his lifetime? These are questions that have plagued the minds of his fans for nearly a year since he died, and we're about to reveal all the answers to you. Early years and rise to fame. Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Herman, was a funny and quirky comedian who made people laugh a lot. Oh, I love her! Why don't you marry her then, Jerry? <laughs> he was born in Peekskill, New York, and he created the character of Pee Wee, who was extremely funny and always made everyone happy. Pee Wee's silly voice and hilarious actions were the comedic relief of many, and it made him really famous in the 1980s. But barely a year ago, Paul Rubens, the iconic man behind Pee Wee, passed away, and saying people were shocked is honestly an understatement. The world was also puzzled, worried, and devastated. As we look back on Paul Rubens' life and career, we'll remember all the times he made us laugh and brought joy to our lives through his comedy, We'll think about the funny moments he shared with us on TV and in movies, and how he became a big part of pop culture during the 1980s. But we'll also talk about the times when things weren't so funny for Paul Rubens. Sometimes there were controversies and problems that seemed to not let him be, and we'll explore those too. Let's not forget the time he got arrested, which caused a lot of trouble for him. It was a difficult time for him, and it affected his career and his personal life. But despite the challenges, Paul Rubens continued to entertain people and make them laugh. Before we get into all of these, how well did you know the icon? Paul Rubenfeld, who later became known as Paul Rubens, was born on August 27, 1952, in Peekskill, New York. His upbringing was mostly beautiful by a lively cultural environment with his parents, Judy and Milton Rubenfeld, nurturing his interest in diverse forms of entertainment. One standout memory from his childhood was attending the annual Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus in Sarasota, Florida, where his family had relocated. The colorful displays and performances at the circus left a lasting impression on young Rubens, increasing his curiosity and fascination with the world of show business. This early exposure to the beauty of live entertainment greatly impacted his future endeavors in the performance and arts industry. When Rubens moved to California in the 1970s, he decided to learn more about acting. So he went to a school called the California Institute of the Arts to study drama. During his time there, he started to figure out how he wanted to perform and how to make people laugh. He practiced his timing and learned more about comedy. Eventually, he became part of a famous comedy group called The Groundlings. Being with them helped him improve his comedy skills even more. In the midst of a group of talented individuals, Rubens worked hard to improve his skills and create many different characters for their comedy sketches. Among these characters, Pee Wee Herman stood out as one that would become very popular across the country. Pee Wee Herman, known for his unique laugh, quirky gray suit, and big red bow tie, didn't become famous right away. Instead, he developed slowly over time. At the time, you would think it would take a while for his character to kick off, but you would have been very far from the truth. Rubens worked really hard on perfecting Pee Wee. He did this by doing lots and lots of shows, where he kept tweaking and adjusting Pee Wee's character until it was just right. It took a long time, but eventually all his efforts paid off. In 1981, he put on a stage show called The Pee Wee Herman Show, and people loved it. Critics praised it, saying very nice things about it. After the success of the stage show, Rubens decided to take Pee Wee to Hollywood. He teamed up with a young filmmaker named Tim Burton, 
and together they made Pee-wee's Big Adventure in 1985. The movie did way better than anyone expected. It opened up a whole new world of opportunities for Rubens and Pee-wee. It was a big hit, and everyone loved Pee-wee even more after seeing him on the big screen. After the huge success of Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Pee-wee Herman became incredibly famous all around the world. People loved his quirky behavior, innocent playfulness, and flashy style, no matter how old they were. In the mid-1980 AS, it was almost impossible to find a place where you wouldn't hear people laughing along with Pee-wee. With the movie being such a hit, Rubens decided to bring Pee-wee to television. This led to the creation of Pee-wee's Playhouse, which debuted on CBS in 1986. The show completely changed children's TV. It was like a burst of creativity, filled with strange characters and everyday objects that seemed to come to life in Pee-wee's weird and wonderful house. Things were definitely looking up for Paul. The show was like a magnet for awards, getting an amazing 22 Emmy Awards in just four years. Pee-wee Herman, who was the main person on the show, became a big part of American pop culture. He went on talk shows, was on magazine covers, and even showed up at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Throughout everything, Paul made sure that Pee-wee stayed like a bright light of happiness and wonder, just like a happy, curious kid. Paul's Controversial Arrest In 1991, Rubens faced a major setback in his flourishing career. An unfortunate incident occurred in Sarasota, Florida, resulting in his arrest on charges of indecent exposure at an adult movie theater. This shocking event reverberated across the nation, causing widespread disbelief and tarnishing the wholesome image many associated with the man known for bringing the beloved character Pee Wee Herman to life. The repercussions of Rubin's arrest were swift and harsh. Pee Wee's Playhouse, the popular children's television show he starred in, was immediately pulled from CBS's lineup, with reruns also being removed from the schedule. This abrupt removal from the airwaves thrust Rubens into the midst of a media frenzy, overwhelming both his personal and professional life with scrutiny and criticism. Everything seemed to be crashing down. Faced with the fallout from the incident, Rubens made the difficult decision to retreat from the public eye. This period of seclusion marked a challenging time for him as he grappled with the repercussions of his actions and the public's perception of him. Despite the turmoil and adversity he faced, one thing remained constant, his unwavering passion for performing. Beneath the surface of the tumultuous aftermath, Rubens remained deeply committed to his craft. Despite the setbacks and obstacles he encountered, his love for performance endured as a guiding light during this dark period in his life. While the incident may have temporarily derailed his career and altered public perception, it did not extinguish Rubin's passion for entertaining audiences and bringing joy through his work. Following his arrest, Rubens chose to step back from the public eye, focusing instead on rebuilding his career with unwavering determination. Despite facing challenges, his perseverance paid off as he gradually re-entered the realm of acting, sometimes using different names to maintain a level of privacy. Embracing a variety of roles spanning both film and television, Rubens demonstrated his versatility and skill in captivating audiences once again. One particular aspect of his comeback was his adeptness in voice acting. Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? A talent he showcased in animated features such as Disney's Hercules and Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Through these projects, Rubens breathed life into memorable characters, proving his ability to transcend the boundaries of traditional acting roles. This period was the time he departed from his iconic Pee-wee personality allowing Rubens to explore new creative avenues and showcase the depth of his artistic range. Once again, the sky was just his starting point. Around 1999, Rubens decided it was time to step back into the spotlight. But this time, he wanted to show the world a different side of himself, one that wasn't just Pee Wee Herman. So he took on a role in a movie called Mystery Men, where he played a character that was quite different from Pee Wee. People really liked his performance, 
and it was a big moment for him because it showed that he could do more than just peewee. As the early 2000s rolled around, Rubens kept on trying new things. He appeared in TV shows like Reno 911 and in movies like Blow. But even as he explored these new roles, Pee Wee Herman was still a part of his life. In 2010, Rubens decided to bring Pee Wee back to the stage with a show called The Pee Wee Herman Show on Broadway. It was a big hit, and people loved seeing Pee Wee back in action. The success of the Broadway show gave Rubens the confidence to do even more with Pee Wee. So in 2016, he released a new Pee Wee movie called Pee Wee's Big Holiday on Netflix. It was another hit and people were thrilled to see Pee Wee on their screens again. Both the Broadway show and the Netflix movie showed that Rubens and Pee Wee still had a special place in the world of comedy. It was a testament to Rubens' determination and Pee Wee's timeless charm. Now, what was Paul up to recently? In more recent years, Rubens continued to entertain audiences through a range of different roles. His distinct voice was featured in animated shows such as Family Guy and Robot Chicken, adding his unique flair to the characters he portrayed. He also got cast in darker roles on popular television series like The Blacklist and Gotham, showcasing a different side of his acting abilities that audiences hadn't seen before. Despite exploring these many opportunities, Rubens remained dedicated to preserving the legacy of Pee Wee Herman. He actively participated in various Pee Wee themed projects, including collaborations on merchandise and appearances at fan events. He even entertained the idea of reviving Pee Wee's character in a darker reboot of Pee Wee's Playhouse, demonstrating his ongoing commitment to keeping the beloved character alive and relevant. Through these endeavors, Rubens not only ensured the continued relevance of Pee Wee Herman, but also showed his unwavering dedication to his unique style of comedy. His willingness to explore different roles while simultaneously maintaining the spirit of Pee Wee Herman was proof of his versatility as an actor and his enduring connection to the beloved character he created. What happens next, let's just say you most probably didn't see it coming. The heartbreaking final curtain call Throughout his career, Paul Rubens continued to shine as a talented entertainer, bringing joy, laughter, and inspiration to audiences everywhere with his unique creativity and performances. Then tragedy struck when everyone least expected it. Paul Rubens' final farewell came on July 30, 2023, a heartbreaking moment the world had to say its first goodbye to the beloved and endlessly imaginative artist. Little did everyone know that behind the scenes, Rubens had been courageously battling cancer for six years, a personal struggle he had chosen to keep private, but he succumbed to an acute hypoxic respiratory failure during his time of death. He announced through his official Instagram account, brought to light this silent fight, prompting an outpouring of condolences, tributes, and shared memories from the Hollywood community and beyond. In the face of adversity, Paul Rubens remained resilient, maintaining his dedication to his craft and his commitment to bringing happiness to others. Despite the challenges he faced, his enduring creativity continued to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and the hearts of those who had the pleasure of experiencing his work. As news of his passing spread, heartfelt tributes poured in, celebrating Rubens' contributions to film, television, and the arts. From his iconic portrayal of Pee Wee Herman to his various other projects, Rubens' talent and innovation left an indelible mark on pop culture, earning him a special place in the hearts of fans worldwide. Do you still remember the first time you first heard the news of his death? The revelation of his private battle with cancer added to Rubens' legacy, highlighting his strength, courage, and resilience in the face of adversity. His decision to keep his struggle hidden spoke volumes about his character, emphasizing his humility and determination to focus on his art and the joy it brought to others. As the world mourned the loss of Paul Rubens, it also celebrated his life and the enduring legacy he leaves behind. His impact on the entertainment industry and the lives of those he touched will be remembered for years to come. On Rubens' Instagram, 
There's a message where Rubens himself deeply apologized to his loyal followers. He was sorry for not telling them about the tough things he had been dealing with for six years. He told them he loved them a lot and really enjoyed making art for them. Even though Rubens was going through tough times personally, he still thought about his fans. He knew how much they cared about him and how happy his performances made them. When Rubens passed away, lots of other artists and people he worked with paid tribute to him. They shared kind words and memories of him. We're not done yet. In the 2016 film Pee-wee's Big Holiday, Joe Manganiello, who acted alongside him, fondly reminisced about his friend, Paul Rubens. Manganiello spoke highly of Rubens, praising his cleverness, unconventional brilliance, and unparalleled warmth. To Manganiello, Rubens was more than just an artist. He was an advocate, tirelessly supporting those who embraced their eccentricities and refused to conform to societal norms. Paul celebrated the weirdos who added their unique colors to the world. Many other tributes also show the huge impact Rubens had on both his colleagues and the audiences who appreciated his work. Through his portrayal of Pee Wee Herman and other characters, Rubens touched the lives of many, leaving a lasting impression with his creativity and humor. His contributions to entertainment were recognized and cherished by those who admired his talent and celebrated his ability to bring joy to others. When the news of the original actor and friend's passing reached Bette Midler, she felt a deep sadness. It was a loss not just for her, but for everyone who knew and loved the actor. Jimmy Kimmel also felt the weight of the loss, but chose to remember the joy and silliness that the actor, Rubens, always brought to the world. Despite the sadness, Kimmel found solace in Rubens' ability to spread happiness wherever he went. Mark Hamill, another well-known figure, expressed his gratitude for Paul's lifelong dedication to making people laugh. He appreciated the love and support Rubens had shown to his fans over the years. For Hamill, Paul's impact went beyond just entertainment. It was about the connections he forged with his audience and the joy he brought into their lives. Oh, that's not all. The news of Paul's passing reverberated beyond the confines of Hollywood. People from all walks of life remembered him for his extraordinary kindness and his unique talent for remembering birthdays. Conan O'Brien, a comedian himself, mentioned Rubens' out-of-this-world comedy and the unwavering kindness he extended to everyone around him. O'Brien recognized Paul as a gift to the world, someone whose presence brought laughter and joy to all who knew him. In the wake of Paul's passing, the world mourned the loss of a beloved actor and friend. But amidst the grief, there was also a deep sense of gratitude for the laughter and happiness he had brought into so many lives. As memories of Paul's kindness and humor continued to be shared, his legacy lived on, a testament to the enduring power of laughter and love. David Hasselhoff, who knew Paul from their time together at the California Institute of the Arts, shared memories of Paul's kindness and how he treated everyone with care and respect. Hearing from celebrities like Cher and Tim Burton added more weight to the admiration and love they had for Rubens. Burton even acknowledged Paul's support during the early days of his own career, showing just how impactful Paul was to those around him. Natasha Lyonne, known for her role in Poker Face, expressed her appreciation for Rubens, crediting him with kickstarting her career. Similarly, Paul Fague, a film director, expressed his sadness, describing Paul's passing as incredibly devastating. These touching messages show how much people cared about Paul and the special bonds he formed in his life and career. He had a gentle heart, a sunny outlook, and a one-of-a-kind sense of humor that made people all over the world smile. Not only did he entertain audiences far and wide, but he also left a lasting impression on those who knew him personally and collaborated with him. Through his imaginative creations, Paul left an indelible mark on the fabric of global popular culture. Even though he's no longer with us, the influence of his work and the happy memories he brought to people's lives will always stay alive, bringing laughter and happiness to future generations. Almost a year after his death, one thing's for sure, Paul Rubin's legacy with Last Lifetimes 
What do you think about his acting and sense of humor? We would love to know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next updates.